the answer to I1 would be pi by 4. The answer to I2 would be 1 by 2. And the answer to I3 should be pi by 2. Yes, it is that simple. Trust me, I haven't crammed up any of the answers. You would be able to do it the same way if you watch this video till the end. Hi everyone, let's discuss the shortcut for this definite integration. Are you excited? Let's get started. So you might have come across these questions while discussing the properties of... Even if you know the solution, these kind of questions would still take you about 3 to 4 minutes. However, how am I able to crack it in just 2 or 3 seconds? Have a look at this. So if you have the limits going from A to B, look at this. You have the function in the numerator and then the same function is there in the denominator. Plus, if you add A plus B and do minus X, that function is also present. If all these things are in order, then the answer is simply you subtract the upper limit minus lower limit upon 2. Let's check all the three questions once again. So here, as you can see, my f of x is 2 raised to power sine x. Now my f of a plus b minus x should be 0 plus pi by 2 minus x, which is simply pi by 2 minus x. So if I substitute sine of pi by 2 minus x, that gives me 2 raised to power cos x. So that means the function is in the form fx upon fx plus f of a plus b minus x. Having done that, now all you need to do is, therefore i1 is b minus a upon 2. So the answer is simply pi by 4. Wasn't that simple? Now even for the second one, if your function is root x, then f of a plus b minus x, that means 3 minus x should be root of 3 minus x. Well, well, once again you have the function plus f of a plus b minus x. So of course your i2 became b minus a, that's just 1 upon 2. By now I am sure you would have started doing this one on your own. So here my function is e to the power cos x. Now f of a, now f of a plus b minus x means pi minus x, which is e raised to power cos of pi minus x. Now being in the second quadrant, this gives us e to the power minus cos x. Once again, the same format. So the answer is b minus a, which is pi by 2. You can not only use this technique for your competitive exams, but to actually verify your answer in the board exams. Having done these three parts, it's time for the DIY. Try out this question and comment in the section below. Let me know your answers. Do you think the video was worth watching? If yes, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. See you with the next one. Until then, bye-bye.